We are making Ireland's favorite bread today. Welcome back to Never Tasted Better. My name is Sarah and today we are making Irish soda bread. This bread is a quick bread. It does not require any yeast, no extra rising time. Anybody can make it. This Irish soda bread was brushed with plenty of melted butter. On the inside, it was made from an enriched dough that includes buttermilk and butter packed with plenty of juicy raisins. I can understand why the Irish love this bread. Let's get started. Don't mind me, I always get started by pouring myself a hot cup of strong black coffee. It never fails me, always hits the spot. We're gonna cut up cold unsalted butter. We need four tablespoons, and we're gonna dice these guys into tiny pieces, then stick them back in the fridge until we need them. In a very large bowl, add two and a half cups all-purpose flour, one cup white whole wheat flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, plus one teaspoon of salt. Add this all together and then whisk until it's completely combined. Make sure those leavening agents are evenly distributed throughout. Now in a separate bowl, add one and a half cups buttermilk, plus one large egg, also our sweetener, which is going to be a quarter cup of honey. We're going to whisk this together until it's completely homogenous. I know a lot of other recipes call for sugar in their Irish soda bread, but guys, the honey is perfect in this bread. We're gonna go back to our dry mixture. Take your cold diced butter out of the fridge, make sure it's not sticking together, and place them in your flour mixture. Using your hands, coat those individual butter pieces in the flour mixture before you start to cut it in with your pastry cutter. Start cutting your butter into your flour mixture and don't leave your coffee cup standing by. I did get flour in it and it didn't taste good. I did use my hands to pinch in the butter as well. Do this until it resembles coarse crumbs. Create a well in the center with your hands and we're gonna pour our buttermilk egg mixture right in the center. Start stirring the mixture together using a wooden spoon. Add one cup of raisins, and then we're going to keep stirring it until it resembles a small ball of very wet looking dough. We're going to put this aside for a moment and grab a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Cut out a piece of circular parchment paper and lightly coat it with butter. Set this aside. Heavily flour a clean surface with all-purpose flour, and we're going to pour out all of our enriched dough right onto that all-purpose flour. Your dough is going to be really, really wet, so we're gonna take our hands and coat this ball of dough in flour on all sides. We're not going to knead this guy. We're basically gonna pat him down and smooth out the edges, and we wanna shape him into a ball. So we're gonna fold him up on top of himself to give him a little bit of volume. And once you have done that, flip it over completely. And then we're gonna start shaping it into that ball shape. Once your dough is in a ball shape, we're gonna transfer this guy over to the cast iron skillet. Now the baking soda and the buttermilk need a little bit of time to rest and react together. It's not going to double in size or anything, but it's going to slightly swell up. So let this guy rest for 15 minutes. Once our dough has finished resting, we're going to use a serrated knife to cut that traditional X into our Irish soda bread. Make sure that you cut deep enough so that the X is still visible after it's done baking. This guy needs to bake at 375 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Once your bread is a delicious golden brown color, tap on the top and you'll hear a hollow sound. That means that it's done. So brush the top of your bread while it's still hot with two tablespoons of melted butter. Let this guy cool completely. 
So my thoughts on this Irish soda bread is that it's severely underrated. I mean, you never really hear about Irish soda bread that much, but it's so delicious, guys. Put a little bit of butter on there if you have some or Irish butter and enjoy. I hope you guys are able to make this for your St. Patrick's Day. I gotta say, that's probably one of the fastest videos I have ever made on my channel. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Mmm, mmm. That was absolutely delicious. This bread is very tender. It's slightly sweet and it's moist on the inside. The raisins just go with this bread so well. Don't forget to check out my new playlist I'm starting where I test viral food recipes. If you have any suggestions of recipes you would like me to test, please leave them down below in the comments. I will try to get to them if I can. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy St. Patty's Day.